We are going to cover one topic from each of the following, sketching, parts and assemblies, and sheet metal. Our sketching topic that we're going to cover is the undo power trim. Have you ever been power trimming and going around and trimming all your lines and then you suddenly trim just a little bit too far and then you stop and you undo and you go back and retrim? Yeah, I've never done that before either a couple times. That's why SolidWorks created the undo power trim option. So as you're trimming around like this, uh, you can see I'm trimming out all my lines. If you see that red dot that's following me, uh, as I over trim these last three lines here, I can go back over that dot and it brings the lines back without me having to undo and retrim everything, making it a lot more easier and efficient. For parts and assemblies, the topic that we're gonna cover is breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs lets you dive deep into your model without having to go navigate the feature tree and find out extra information from there when you can just bring it right to your cursor. So as I select on the D here, in the upper left, breadcrumbs comes in. When I press the D key on my keyboard, it brings that information to my cursor. I can find information about the feature, about the body. I can find the part information, the mates, the default mating planes, the information on the subassembly, and finally information on the upper level assembly, all without having to go look at anything in the uh, feature manager and all of that information being directly at my cursor, making it just that much more efficient for me to get my work done and without having to look around in other places. Now, on the sheet metal, what I have to show with this offset surface and sheet metal is more of a technique on how you can work with imported bodies that might be coming from another CAD software where the surfaces might not be uniform or they're just ever so slightly ununiform that we need some other way around it where we can't use something like insert beds or convert to sheet metal. So what we need to do is look at our body here. We're gonna take these orange surfaces, we're gonna hit offset surface and offset them to zero distance. Then we're gonna come in with the delete command and delete that body out so we only have those new surfaces that we created. Because we're working with surfaces, we need to extend those out so that they intersect. That will allow us to come in and add a fillet to put in our bends. Now that we've got this looking like our sheet metal part, we can convert it over to sheet metal. That'll add the thickness in that we're looking for. Now that it's been converted to sheet metal, we have access over to our flat pattern and that will allow us to take this non-uniform uh, surface sheet metal part and turn it into a flat pattern that we can use to create our final product. So these are just a couple uh, tools and tips and tricks that you can use to improve your work. Um, I hope that this makes it a lot easier for you to work with your SolidWorks software. Thank you for watching.